it's been a really really long time and i'm so sorry for that it's just like the past two months has been like so hard for me so um, grab your little snacks or if you're doing your makeup get a little brushes ready because we're gonna have a talk i haven't been doing my makeup for two months still going because like this whole pandemic it's like i'm not really going anywhere as you may know from the title i used to work at marshall's working in retail in general it's a good learning experience you know but after a while it's like you should like really get yourself out there to be honest i'm sorry but no one doesn't really like retail that much in my opinion because like one you get those type of customers who are like so aggy so like i don't know how to explain because how are you gonna wake up one day and like oh let me just go to marshall's and piss off the cust i mean piss off the workers with well, i just it's just some people just i don't know like they're not thinking right and then you have your workers who are lazy and that doesn't really help much or you have workers who talk a lot of shit to other people right we're gonna get into a why i quit let's start from like all the stores reopened up right so once upon reopening um well before reopening there has been like a lot of protesting about black lives matter and don't get me wrong i am for black lives matter and I'm all for it and I'm still for it because the cops are not doing their job they take their job as a whole freaking joke anyways um only mistake I did was posting about the company while I work for the company like I get it you're not supposed to do that but in times like this and the company is not doing anything what they're supposed to do really frustrate me and shows me like it they show that their true colors and what their per, like potentials and stuff and they only care about revenues like i get it like but at the same time it is such a multi-million dollar company why are you still caring so much about revenue when you should start caring about your employees who are so mentally hurt about this right so then um, I posted something on social media about Black Lives Matter and then I got two former co-workers well multiple of them one in particular she was just like I don't know she said this and that and I really didn't appreciate it and no I didn't go snitch on like the manager or whatever but she got offended because I said, your parents are racist as hell. That's why you don't see the injustice and difference of two different races. And that's when she got a little, you know, got a little salty in the side, you know. And then there was this other co-worker who posted, Black Lives Matter is a joke. I went off on that dumb bitch. So... Moving forward, I got snitched on and I got written up for improper behavior. And I'm like, improper behavior? Last time I checked, I didn't do anything wrong. <coughs> it went in my mouth. Oh my god. <coughs> I told my manager, show me the screenshots. Show me the screenshots. Show me the receipts. She failed to do that and the HR CEO, whoever the heck he is, he was just blah, 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 right? Failed to show me the, my receipts on like my post, failed to show anything, but only read like why I'm getting written up. I'm like, I told my, I told that manager, shut up. I know how to read. I'm not going to listen to you reading it. I want you to show me my post. If you can't do that, then. But I didn't know any better because it was like my first time getting written up. So then um, I'm going to have like all the products I can use on my face. 
in the description box below. Um, I didn't know any better, so I decided to sign the papers of, you know, me running, you know, getting rid of, blah, 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 blah. And my consequences are, like, the action was to, um, hello, to read the code of conduct. Girl, what? The code of conduct? It was so thick. It was, like, this thick, and me, myself, knowing myself. I don't like to read. I know that sounds so crazy. Like a 19 year old that doesn't like to read. Like what the heck. I don't like to be forced to read. I like to read whatever is interesting to me. But being forced to read a code of, code of conduct. On something I didn't do anything wrong. I literally. All I did was corrected them bitches. Because they are so wrong. So so wrong. Like. You can't, I feel like you can, but at the same time, you can't change a person's mind because they were raised like this. But in times like this, I feel like you can change their mind. I feel like this color's off. Girl, I've been indoors the whole pandemic, well, almost indoors, the whole pandemic. So, this is the only foundation I have, okay? Don't, don't judge me. Um... Yeah, I corrected them, and I still had to read the code of conduct. So they put me in this called training room, and um, I I didn't read. No, mm -mm. you thought I was going <laughs> funny. Mm -mm. So then I decided to sit there chilling because I was getting paid to do this. So <clears throat> I decided to take advantage and post it on social media on. Uh, what TJX is doing to me, forcing me to read the cold comment of something I didn't do. Oh wait, I was supposed to do my brows first. That's all right, I'm not going anywhere anyways. So then I continue to post more about what has been going on and how unfair this is. And so many people agree with me because it is so dumb. It is honestly so dumb. And so, after like, not even like a couple of minutes, the HR guy was like, I guess you could say stalking me. Like, what the heck? Um, he was like, oh, I don't understand what you don't understand. Because I literally went over this and you still don't understand. Like, tell me what you don't understand. I'm like. <sighs> and I told him, I don't understand how you don't understand how you let racist coworkers continue to work. And he was like, oh, you can't be calling people racist because it's a strong word. Oh, I know it's a strong word. Let me rephrase that. I don't understand how you don't understand how you continue to let ignorant coworkers still work here. Is that much better? Is that much better? And then my manager, ho ass, was just sitting there. I hate the bitch. <laughs> Next day later was Sunday and I got a job interview. I worked like a whole shift next day and she, my manager was like acting like nothing happened and I'm just standing there not talking to you. You know what the heck happened. You know what you did to me yesterday. I'm not talking to you. Don't care. Do what I want. I'm doing my job just to satisfy you and just for you to look good for the other managers. Next day was Monday. I didn't work. Um... I had the interview right and I got the job all I'm saying I'm a receptionist and I love that job like I don't have to stress like working at Marshall I literally sweat and I cried at that job because it is so stressful it like going home after like what a five hour shift like yeah five hour shift and I'm already tired my feet is sore I am tired and my manager's gonna say oh Jenny it's only five hours relax it's not that big of a deal you know you go home at eight she does all day is sit her ass in that little little office she has not doing anything whenever a customer comes in and arguing yell at the employee she just stands there like that's your employees like at least stand up for them and tell them you know tell the angry customer to leave or apologies or something because if I was ever a manager and I see that happening to my coworkers, mm -mm. 
I don't care where my reputation takes me. First thing, you're not going to disrespect my hardworking ass co-workers. And that's that. But anyway, so yeah, moving on Thursday, I walked in and I was like, she was talking about, oh, Jenny, what's that bag? It's so cute. And I was like, actually, I quit. And she was like, okay, you want to immediately? First of all, um, very disrespectful. Second of all, thanks for like knowing what I was thinking about. And f fourth of all, my brow. Ugh. Like, yeah, like, have it immediately. And then I walked into like the break room and I uh, took my personal belongings, belongings and then left like trash, like paper trash in my locker. And just to so, let like, you know, like my locker was like all the way down at the bottom. So yeah, so I made their ass pick it up. Yeah, so that's, that's why I quit Marshalls. Um... Side note, uh, in the past two months, I have been doing pressed on nails. I will show you guys, like, pictures. Um, if you guys are really interested, I'll leave my Instagram down below. And I don't have a official website yet. You know what? I'm just going to put concealer so it'll look nice. So, let me move on to the next. And then after this, I'm going to go wax my brows because, girl. I haven't been doing makeup lately because um, I've been going through a lot. Um, I don't know if it's appropriate to say, but I guess I'm going to say it. I lost a friend recently. So it's been like really hard for me to even like cope that like... Oh my God. It's been really hard to like even accept her death, you know? her Not even just her, her and her sister like... It's really hard to even accept it. Like, I I honestly, I can't. And it, I don't know, it just feels so empty. Like, she was always there. She was always supportive, loving, and caring. Like, she always sees the good in people. Let me stop talking about her because I will be even more sad. So, yeah, that has been going on. And, um... All I'm gonna say is Black Lives Matter. I believe on defunding the police because the police not only fail to protect my friends, but also fail to protect many others, friends and family members because of the skin of their color. Honestly, I'm disgusted of what has been going on and it is still going on to this day. Like I knew, not I knew, I know racism is never gonna end. Like, you guys can say anything, but I believe racism is never going to end. Because to this day, I'm still getting discriminated on. Like, people are still culturally appropriating other others. And honestly, it is just so disgusting to me. Like, how can you... You are a whole grown-ass person, and this is how you act? I see people as people. I don't see people any less or any more than anything else. Like... I feel like that's how everyone should see each other, like, as people. And that's that. And the only time you can judge a person is by their actions. You can't judge a person by their looks. I feel like it's just so disgusting how people nowadays are, like, are like this, you know? This this is not how I do my makeup, honestly. <clears throat> Embarrassing. Embarrassing. I just haven't been doing my makeup in a while. I don't see... I mean... I still have passion to do makeup and I still have the passion of doing makeup on others. It's just like times like this is just like so hard and it's been tough on many people. Many people's lives has been taken away and stuff. And not only Black Lives Matter, but like there has been so much going on with like human traffic and human trafficking with churches. He, um slavery is still continuing on like other countries it's just not just that this country is the worst but there's so many other countries who are suffering and who are losing so many people and that's why like we need to be more aware of and on social media it's such a huge platform i feel like you have to be careful of what you post online and like do your research first before like say something because we don't want to spread oh my God, this looks so white. We don't want to spread um fake news at all whatsoever 
I love Twitter because um you can see raw there's raw images of like what the news won't portray and I'm just so glad for social media at the same time but also at the same time it's like really really depressing and I believe like sometimes you just have to take a break like I understand like these protesters they're doing the right thing and we should protest some people say like oh protesting won't get anywhere but honey this country basically lived off protesting on many many things and my makeup is so trash right now i i promise you guys this is not how i do my makeup i do my makeup like my brows first and then my face but let me just try and get this covered you should watch my other videos on how i do my makeup and that's how i really do it like that's how i really do it so please don't judge me so once i finish this i'm gonna get back to you guys all right guys so this is the final look just like a light beat i'm wearing my lashes called um honey so yeah to close off this video i would just like to say if you're in a situation where you feel uncomfortable of talking about a certain view that you feel more strongly about remove yourself from that group go to a different like find yourself a environment or just like freely talk about it on your social media platform um, another thing I would like to end off is if you or if you know anyone that is in a really abusive relationship, it doesn't matter if it's physical, mental, any type of abuse relationship, please, please contact someone. If you yourself are in it and you don't feel safe of like sharing it to like the cops, let a friend know let your friend like protect you and go to the cops immediately because all of this could have been prevented but the cops failed to protect my friends and know someone for so long and still be surprised of what they're capable of doing and if anyone if you're a man who is being mentally or physically abused by a woman or by another man, please contact. It does not make you less of a man. Like, so many people are saying, like, oh, a woman can never abuse a man. You will be surprised on how many people, how many women abuse a man. You'll be really surprised. And it's not just physical abuse. It's mental abuse. Like, they can manipulate you. Even goes to a man, too. It really does not make you less of anything. You are a human being, you have people who love you, you have family who cares about you, you have like people who would love to see you live on to the next day. That's all I'm going to have to say today. Um, please share love, share positivity to many other people. Just never be negative because you never know what is the next day will have for you installed. Until next time guys, I will be more productive and more active. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go like, subscribe. Until next time.